I don't know how many stars there are up in the heavenly sky. I only know my heavens here on earth. It's time you look into my eyes. The way you do, baby, Ow. you are the books that I really say. Baby, you are the song that I sing. I'm going to sing it to you. Okay, good morning, good afternoon. Good evening, family. Welcome, 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 welcome to this place that I call the Crazy House. Um, <laughs> and with me, your host, Khadija. Let me say something, y'all. This is about Dwight Howard, you know, and it's really sad in this country and anywhere, and pretty much predominantly as a society, all we really were supposed to do is love each other. And um, it seems like that's the hardest thing for man to do. They can go to the moon. They can make submarines to go underwater. But we can't figure out how to love humanity. You know, especially when you look at just what's going on all over the world. Man's inhumanity to man. And I feel that that's, you know, Dwight Howard was already sitting on a powder keg when he sparked all that anger in China by calling Taiwan a country. I mean, and people are so quick to hate. So instead of them saying this is just an uninformed and it's not good, I'm not making an excuse for him. He, You should know about where you're playing, the city or whatever, the village, whatever they call themselves, whatever, whoever, wherever you at, you you should know where you're playing, okay? If it's a providence, if it's a city, what, and you should ref, you know, refer to it as that. I can, I get it, but I also get that this person is an American who was not educated very well. We've been playing basketball a long time. So we got a big, strong-ass body, but he don't have too much mind in terms of those type of things. Maybe. That's just one way of assessing it. I'm not saying that <laughs> the dude is a, a big muscle. But the, the point I'm trying to make is he said something a few months ago. He said, when I came to Taiwan, I gained a whole new appreciation for this country. Now that's it. And that's because, you know, he signed that contract with those leopards in in the city uh, uh, of uh, Taekwon or whatever. And that's after he left the Los Angeles Lakers. And, of course, they all came out, started talking about him, and did 400 million views on a Twitter-style-like uh, site which is really heavily censored by the government. Um, but then they start giving them all this hate mail. You're not my idol, but not anymore. I don't even know if he's going to play over there again, to be honest with you. Then you come back home, and one of your drag queen friends or whatever, somebody decide to out you, which I feel is horrible. I think that when people do stuff like that, um, this is my opinion. I, I think that they they have a problem. They they have a problem with sales because I hear a lot of entertainers, not a lot, but a few, that get pleasure out of outing people. Oh, I'm gonna out so and so. I'm a out so and so. Now I'm saying this as a seasoned person. What is your a, a fascination? with somebody's sex life? That's the main question I would ask you. And if you consider him a freak, 
what do you think that you should be considered? Because you're worried about what another person does in their bedroom. So I think you the biggest freak, first of all, that it ever was made. Because I don't sit here and think about no heterosexual couple and wondering how they do up in the bed, in the bedroom. I mean, what the hell is kind of thought is that? And so we are so obsessed with sex in this country that we really can't even understand a sex on the spectrum. That's how deep it is. And it's gotten to the point where a person who experiences sex or uh, the feelings a different kind of way, they're just unacceptable when people act like they need to be put in a cage some damn way. And how dare you, how dare you put yourself as judge, jury, and executioner about somebody's sex life? And I'm talking about all of you parents who throw your kids out of the house because you find out that they're gay. No wonder people don't want to say what's going on with them. No wonder they're in a closet. Because the environment that you create, just thinking about what they do and the the vicious and vile venomous things that you say to people I know I've experienced it okay so I'm not talking about nothing I um, read I'm talking about the hurt that I felt even when you un when you're not sure or if a person is bisexual, whatever. The fact that everybody don't, your boat, everybody boat don't float the way yours float. You For you to have so much venom, venomous and out them and do this kind of, what do you prove? Now, this guy right here, I'll tell you what he proved. He wanted some paper. And the sad thing about this whole situation is, from what I'm understanding is, there was a woman in the room as well, or a transgender woman. And so I think I heard somebody say, uh, I can't, one of these um, outlets, that somebody said, why does a man have to act like a woman is involved to be true to his sexuality? So it, what you go, the peel ain't going to go down so hard if I tell you, well, I like women too. Yeah, probably so. I don't know. But you got some people that are so homophobic. And all I can say to these people that are so judgmental, if you would spend more time on all your demons and what has gone wrong in your life, in terms of your sexual experiences, in terms of who you chose to lay down with, whatever, whatever you are suppressing. If you just sweep around your door for a while, I guarantee you, you'll feel different about trying to sweep around Dwight Howard's door. And I really need to say that because it's too much hatred and people, nobody should have to hide who they are because of y'all vicious asses. Nobody should have to do that. So now that it's been exposed, in every I, you know, the rumor has been out about him a long time, and I knew when he started having to me my personal gauge. I shouldn't say this, but I'm going to. Um, you know, when a guy has a bunch of relationships real quick with a bunch of different women, it's like, dude, who do you think you fooling? Now you can get some of these young people to think some uh, inexperienced people. But if you've been around for a while, you'd be like, mm, okay, all right. I know what you really like. So I just think it's it's sad that people have to hide who they are and that when, they expose, when they're being exposed to who they are by somebody that for either for money, you know, you, you're not going to have very much good luck with your own self. And Dwight, I I still think you are uh, one of the greatest centers, fifth, 75 greatest centers to play the game. 
uh, the people that know basketball, like y'all know, I'm a basketball junkie and a singing junkie. That's what I did, and that's what I do. And all I can say is there hasn't been too many centers in the modern era that has done defensively what Dwight Howard has done in this NBA. But they treat them like shit. And part of it is because of, in my opinion, who he is and what he they think he represents, you know. It ain't no secret. They had a spies out there, just like they got them in the show business. Trust me, I know. Okay? So, I just want to say good luck to him. You know, I'm going to say it. If nobody else said it, if everybody else is laughing at him, I'm going to say I wish you well with that, brother. And I, this allows you the opportunity now to be who you are. You know, and you probably won't play in the NBA no more. I saw you on uh, Gilbert's Arena. I know you want to play, but the NBA is done with you. And probably this incident right here was just the icing on the cake. But I want you to be well. You know, I want you to be well. And all them kids you got, teach them how to play basketball. Hell. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go. Because I'm getting off topic. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share my channel. I love y'all. And um, we got some changes coming to the uh, channel. Just keep on waiting. We're going to have a phone system hooked up pretty soon. And I'm able to converse with y'all. And I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. Okay. We'll see you in the next one.